Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. in my whole life. Shove, shove, shove. Push, push, push. And some of the women still wouldn't let me through. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Whoever said women were the weaker sex never went shopping with us. <laughs> That's for sure. Gee, I wish that bus would come. I'm so tired. Yeah. You know, they had some marvelous bargains there today, Lucy. They sure did. That's why I wanted to go to that store. You know, I have to be very careful of every penny that I spend. Well, how come then you bought three steam irons? Well, when they're marked down like that, you have to take advantage of it. <laughs> At that price, they were a steal. Lucy, what are you going to do with three steam irons? Well, you never know when two of them are going to break down. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard of. Well, you know, you should talk. Last week, you bought a hundred-pound sack of dog food. Oh, well, that was half price. You don't even have a dog. <laughs> I might get one someday. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Want a bite? Oh, no, honey, I'm on a diet. You are? Yeah, I've been on a diet for a couple of weeks. I didn't know that. Yeah. For heaven's sake. Now, Lucy, you what? did it again. I did what again? You threw paper on the sidewalk. Oh, that. Listen, you do that all the time. The other day, you threw peanut shells all over the street. You know, you could get arrested for that. I could get arrested? Yes, of course. You know, it's very serious. That's against the Keep America Beautiful campaign. You might have committed a federal offense. A federal offense? I just hope nobody saw you. Oh, for heaven's sake, I better get it. No, no, let's see. What? Policeman. Policeman? Do you think they saw what I did? I don't know. Mary Jane, promise me something. What? If anything happens, save yourself. P -p -p Pretend you don't know me. Lucy, I can't do that. Promise oh, me. I promise. Oh, uh, excuse me, lady. Uh, does uh, that bag belong to you? I beg your pardon, sir. Are, are you addressing me? Uh, yes, madam, I was addressing you. Does that bag belong to you? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, it does. Oh, okay, sister. It's all over. Let's go. I beg your pardon? Go where? You can cut that innocent act. You have any identification? Well, I have a little birthmark, but I'm certainly not going to show it to <laughs> I just don't go around showing it to strangers. Let me see your driver's license. I don't have a driver's license. I don't even have a car. What's your name? Lucille Carmichael. Lucille Carmichael. Ha! Phony name, if I ever heard one. It is not a phony name. Lucille Carmichael is my real name, isn't it? Tell them what my name is. <laughs> Lady, I never saw you before in my life. <laughs> but, uh... Are you coming along quietly, or do we have to get tough? Well, if you feel that way about it, imagine making a federal offense over a little thing like this. I'll take care of that. Oh, thank you. Holy smoke, sister. What have you got in here? Well, three steam irons and... My, my, you have had a busy day. I like, to... <laughs> like to do things in a big way, don't you? Well, not really, but they were such a steal. <laughs> Come on, lady, let's go. All right. Come on. All right. Lieutenant, we're sure that this Carmichael dame is the red-headed shoplifter that's been pulling all these big jobs. We caught her with the stuff right on her. Those pearls were in her shopping bag. Okay, bring her in. Bring her in, Miller. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Your name is uh, Carmichael. Lucille Carmichael, yes. 
Lucille is spelled with two L's. Three if you count the first one. <laughs> uh, officers Peters and Miller. Uh, my name is Lieutenant French. Well, I'm very happy to meet you all. And you have no idea how happy we are to meet you. Oh, thank you. Uh, won't you sit down? Oh, thank you. Now, just to get off on the right foot, it is my duty to inform you that anything you say will be held against you. Oh, uh, yes, sir. And that you have a right to legal counsel if you so desire. Oh, no, I don't think that's necessary. It isn't that big a thing. Oh? <laughs> Well, suppose we all just settle back and you tell us what you did today. Oh, well, now that's not going to be very entertaining. <laughs> we'll find it fascinating. Oh, well, okay, where shall I start? Why don't we start with the beginning, this morning? This morning? Well, let's see now, I got up early, about quarter of eight, I think. Maybe it was ten of. Yeah, about ten of eight, I think. And I read the paper, I always read the paper every morning, and I saw this ad for this marvelous sale, and I just love sales. So, I called Mary Jane, uh, and I... Uh, uh, Mary, who's Mary Jane? Uh, she's my cat. <laughs> Do you often phone your cat? Oh, yes, always. Always when she's away from home. I always call her and I say, what's new, pussycat? Well, let's, uh, let's forget the feline phone calls. Tell us about this sale you went to. Oh, well, as I say, I, I love sales. And, well, I'm the sort of person who just cannot resist picking up a few things. We can imagine. So, just like that, you decided to go shopping. Oh, yes, I do it all the time. Especially when I don't feel like going to the bank. Bank? Yeah, that bank job gets so monotonous. We'll talk about the bank job later. Oh. Yeah. Right now, we'd like to hear about your shopping. All right, but why? Lady, when you've been shopping, word gets around. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, you better believe it, sister. Well. So you went shopping and you picked up a few things. Well, more than a few. More than a few. There were, let's see now, three steam irons, a little bottle of cologne, a pair of curtains, two pair of curtains, and, uh, oh, I found a new eyelash curler, and uh, a floor lamp. Floor lamp? Where was that? It wasn't in the bag. Well, of course not. You just can't walk out carrying a floor lamp. <laughs> it's being delivered. By the store? Certainly. Boy, what nerve! <laughs> you shot pretty good. <laughs> well, thank you. It isn't easy. With a crowd around like that, you have to be fast. <laughs> well, that takes care of the preliminaries. Now to the main event. I beg your pardon? The reason you're here. Oh, that. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I'd, I'd like a chance to explain that. Would you really? Yes, you see, uh... I'm, I'm really not that kind of person. I, I just wasn't thinking. You mean you had a mental aberration? Uh, I, I could have had that, yeah. <laughs> now, Carmichael, let's level. You've been doing stuff like this all over town, haven't you? Well, I don't know about that. I, I, I don't remember. I... You don't remember? You're just not talking, are you? Well, who remembers things like that? Do you remember every time you drop a gum wrapper on the sidewalk? I don't chew gum. Do you? Look, let me refresh your memory. About six weeks ago, you were on Western Avenue, weren't you? Western Avenue? That's right. First shop, there was a sable cape in the window. Remember a sable cape? Well, uh, Western Avenue. Western... Sometimes I go down Melrose, and I... Oh, Western. Oh, now I remember. Oh, yeah. Peanuts. That's what it was. Peanuts. Peanuts? Yeah. I finished it off and just didn't even think about it. I admit it. I admit it. But it was just a little bag. A little bag? Lady, in our book, that's a big bag. That cost somebody $4,000. Well, I don't understand that. Oh, not much, you don't. I got to admit, Carmichael, you are really something. She's the coolest cookie I ever saw, Lieutenant. Yeah, she's a real criminal type. No conscience, 
No nerves. You better get yourself a good lawyer. You're going to need one. Well, gee whiz. The way you talk, you'd think I committed a robbery or something. A robbery? You, heaven forbid. Well, I don't see why I can't just pay a little fine and go home. A little fine? You'll be lucky if you get off in less than ten years. Ten years? It was only a chocolate-covered coconut caramel cream wrapper. I think maybe we ought to call in a psychiatrist. So do I. He's nuts. <laughs> You'll just give me you a chance. You can explain it to the judge. Get her out of here. I never heard of such a thing in my life. Ten years for him. Why do you always dump all the garbage in on me? What do you want? Well, uh, please, may, maybe I can have a private room? A private room, dearie? Well, next time, why don't you call in advance for reservation? We'll give you a nice room with a view. But I don't think I'm very welcome here. Ah, oh, you're as welcome as the flowers in May. <laughs> but she sounds so tough. She is tough. And you better be tough, too, or she'll crush you like a marshmallow. Now, get it. <laughs> joint this is. No, oh, I don't know. This pad ain't bad. I've been a lot worse. Yeah? What's your handle? Hardhead Hogan. Hardhead? How'd you ever get a name like that? I'm a bouncer in a beer hall. <laughs> I bite him with my head. I get him right about here. Boop! Up they go like a light. Yeah, I can see why. It's a natural talent. Had it since I was a kid. Because you was just born lucky, huh? Ah, it's got its drawbacks. I got a tough time keeping my hair curled. <laughs> but then, everybody's got problems. Yeah, well, that's one way of looking at it. What are you in for? Assault and battery. Oh? Yeah, it was all a misunderstanding. Sure, sure it was. I was framed. Sure you was. <laughs> I've been having a little trouble with my eyes lately. Oh? I butted a guy the other night, and instead of him going out the door, I put him right through the wall. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, it was messy. <laughs> but a perfectly innocent mistake. 
Sure, sure it was. <laughs> you know something, hardhead? What? Uh, I'd like a nice hot cup of coffee. <laughs> What's all the racket in here? Tinkerbell, my roommate would like a nice hot cup of coffee. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> and would madam like sugar and cream in her coffee? Well, a little cream and no sugar. I'll take saccharin because I've been on a diet and I wouldn't want to put on... Uh, the nerve of her. I'll tell you one thing, if she does bring me my coffee, I ain't gonna give her no tip. <laughs> hey, you know, you're all right, Cluck. Not Cluck, not. Okay. I'm glad you like my style. I think you and me are gonna go great together. Yeah. Now listen. I wanna let you in on something. What? Stay here. <laughs> I figured out a way to beat this rap. They don't call me hardhead for nothing. I got it all mapped out. I'm busting out of here. Doing a bird. You mean... <laughs> you mean you're going to try to escape? Now you got it, kid! <laughs> Knock. No, it's not knock, it's cluck. No, knock. <laughs> oh, knock. Okay. Now, here's the way we're gonna do it. We? What do you mean, we? You and me. What do you think I'm talking about? We're partners. Now, here's the plan. As soon as Tinkle Bell comes in here, I'm gonna bite her in the bread basket and bounce her right off that wall. And then you and me? I'll burn it. <laughs> How do you like that? Well, um, hardhead, if you don't mind, I'd, uh, I'd like to think about it a little bit, you know. What's to think? Well, I... We're partners, remember? Yeah, but, uh... Honey, you don't argue with hardhead. Well, I... Uh... <laughs> I can't tell you. I mean, I just can't tell you what it means to have these pearls returned to my jewelry store. You've done a magnificent job. Well, save the compliments. Can you recall what happened? Well, I was showing these pearls to a client, and I left them on the counter when this red-headed creature walked in. I thought she was just browsing, but when I turned my back for just a moment, she swooped up the pearls and was gone. I mean... That sounds like her, all right. The slickest shoplifter in town. We've been after her for months. Now, would you know her if you saw her again? Oh, I most certainly would. The incident is indelibly impressed on my mind. I shall remember that face for years. That red hair. Good, good. Matron, bring in the girls for the lineup. Okay, come on, girls. Step lively. Come on, pick them up. Get over here. Face the front. All right, Mr. Trundle, all we need is a positive identification. Just pick her out. <laughs> well? Uh, I'm not sure. Never in a thousand years, huh? Well, I didn't anticipate so many redheads. What did you figure on a bunch of Yule Brenners? <laughs> All right, Mr. Trendle. Which one? Well, Lieutenant, it's very difficult. These girls are all so innocent-looking. Innocent? Most of these babes would make Ma Barker look like a campfire girl. Well, I can't help that. The woman I saw was much tougher-looking. All right, girls, look tough for Mr. Trendle. Real tough. <laughs> Yes, that's the one! I'd never forget in 
a thousand years. That's the one that her. Step forward, Queenie. Rest of you debutantes, back to your penthouse. All right, come on, let's go. Come on. You're nominated, Queenie. Well, what am I nominated for? Miss Light Fingers of the Year. Oh, man, I, mean, I can explain that. Are you the head of the Keep America Beautiful campaign? Because I can explain everything. You can explain it in my office. Get her in there. Now, just a minute, just a minute. I know my rights, my constitutional rights. I, I, I'm I, entitled to make one phone call. Now you're going to call your lawyer, I suppose. No, my manicure is I want to cancel my appointment. Oh. <laughs> Well, we got a strong case against you now. You were positively identified. Picked out of a lineup by a reliable witness. You could make it a lot easier on yourself by signing a confession. A confession for a little thing like that? It's the silliest thing I ever heard of. Boss? Yeah? Uh, there's some people out here to see the prisoner. Who are they? I don't know. No, I don't know. But they're, Mr. They're Mooney! <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael! <laughs> what in the world? What's it to you? I never saw you before in my life, Mary Jane. Mary Jane? Well, this is the pussycat you made the phone call to. All right, Moody, what's your connection with her? Mrs. Carmichael happens to work for me. Hey, Lieutenant, this looks like a regular gang. He must be the big boss. <laughs> boss? Gang? What's he talking about? What? Would you please explain what's going on here? Yes, sir. Well, it all started with a chocolate-covered coconut caramel cream wrapper. There she goes again. <laughs> She's being booked for grand larceny. Grand larceny? Grand larceny? Grand larceny? That's right, little Sir Echo. <laughs> never stole anything in her life. Well, that's true. She is not dishonest. Oh, she's incompetent, scatterbrained, bungling, inefficient, disorganized, incoherent, and stupid. But she is not dishonest. Thank you, Mr. Mooney. up for me. Look, Mooney, there's no question about it. We caught her with the goods. What goods? Well, to begin with, she was walking around with three steam irons in her bag. Now, does that sound normal to you? For her? Yeah. <laughs> of course, I'd never be able to explain it, oh, but... Oh, well, listen, I can explain that. You just stand there, pussycat, and purr quietly. <laughs> to believe that? No, but you'll have a long time to try. She'll be out of circulation for ten years. Ten years? Yeah. <laughs> well, now, Mrs. Carmichael, don't you worry about a thing. We will get you the best lawyers in town. In your case, we will have no difficulty proving insanity. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, no, there, 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 there. Don't cry. Don't cry for you to say not to cry because you don't have anything to cry about. But suppose it was your wife that was being sent away for ten years. This is no time for wishful things. <laughs> now, sir, I want you to know that I'm an important man in this city. Boss, what do you want? Hold everything. You got the wrong dame. What do you mean I got the wrong dame? This is the redhead who stole the pearls. She just signed a confession. Okay, Miller, book her. Well... Miss Carmichael, it seems that there's been a slight misunderstanding. Well, there certainly has been. Can I go now? Oh, yes, yes. Well, thank no, you. I don't know what... Well, let's go out here. Get in there. Hardhead, what happened? Well, when I butted Tinkerbell in the bread basket, she bounced me off the wall. Oh. <laughs> Well, you can't win them all, honey. <laughs> well, anyway, you got your private room back. I just got sprung. Oh! <laughs> Gee, I'm gonna miss your clock. Knock, clock, knock. Knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs>